bright people sitting around a table by candlelight? Feels like we could be in an 18th century French salon. Indeed. Penny, a salon is a gathering where intellectuals entertained each other with sparkling conversations about issues of the day. Oh, so it's like The View. Yeah. <laughs> Sheldon, The View is a daytime talk show hosted by women. Oh, I'm aware. It features Whoopi Goldberg. She played Guinan on Star Trek Next Gen. <laughs> Penny, next gen refers to Star Shut Trek. Up. I would like to propose a salon topic. Oh, please do, Rajesh. The lead in the Hunger Games is a woman. Marvel has made Tor a female. Wait, who's Tor? You know, Tor, the god of thunder. <laughs> As I was saying, is this a sign that our society is approaching gender equality? Certainly a lot more women are reading comic books now. It's true. At the store, I had to put a seat on the toilet. <laughs> we won't know if there's equality until female Thor has a baby and the Avengers are cool with her pumping breast milk at work. <laughs> I wonder if only a baby who is worthy can suckle at the bosom of Thor. <laughs> okay, new salon topic. Salons, dumb thing from a long time ago, or interesting thing made dumb by talking about superheroes. Discuss. <laughs> well, I don't believe it matters what the topic is. It, what's crucial for a salon is that we conduct the discussion in an elevated and insightful way. It's all about the execution. Of course you'd focus on that rather than the inspiration. A, a, a new salon topic, what's more important, an idea or its execution? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, good for you, Lennon. That's a lovely little notion. Uh, kind of like, I wish I could talk to my uncle in Chicago. Yeah, now stand back while I invent the telephone. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, hold on. Leonard, it's your uncle. He says you just got burned. <laughs> Sheldon. You guys. Uh, it's OK. We're all adults trying to have an intelligent discussion. At least I am. Howard, what do you think? Well, I guess as an engineer, I lean towards execution. I spend my days trying to take ideas and make them real. Well said, old chap. Yeah, I thought eloquence had died. Here it stands before us. Starting today, it'll go Gettysburg Address, I Have a Dream, and what you just said. <laughs> oh, now he's a genius? All you ever do is make fun of him in engineering. Yeah, Leonard, please, his mother just died. <laughs> Being ridiculous. Yeah, so are you. Guys, if I wanted to hear people be bitchy, I'd go to my real salon. <laughs> Lots of people could have had that idea, but very few people could have worked out the math the way I did. Lots of people also didn't have that idea, like everyone in the entire world except for me. Oh, well, apparently Leonard thinks he's better than everyone in the whole world, including those fighting for our freedom. Yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I support our boys overseas. <laughs> and girls. Hey, you already ruined Thor. Give it a rest. <laughs> So I'm just supposed to be okay with you hogging all the credit? Well, I didn't hog anything. You know, unlike you and that weird lasagna with raisins in it. Well, do you want some of this? I'll give you some. Hey, Sheldon Leonard, living room right now. She said my name first. That must kill you. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, but this is a very difficult time for my husband. We're eating the last food his mother ever made, and you are gonna throw it at each other like children? Whatever it is you're fighting about, put it aside, go back in there, be a good friend to Howard, or there's no dessert for either of you. And don't you guys ever notice sometimes Bernadette sounds like my mom? I don't hear no, it. No, not at 